Hey, this is my IPP presentation. Um, so for my one sentence summary, The Place Sweat by Lynn Nottage is a story set in both 2000 and 2008 that shows the perspective of a group of friends and the tension that arises as layoffs become an issue during a severe economic recession. Um, my research topic has to do with the deindustrialization of the Rust Belt and the relationships that are impacted by that. Um, so the Rust Belt is a strip of states going from the Midwest up towards northeast, uh, the northeastern states like Pennsylvania um, that were heavily impacted by several um, recessions, laying off thousands of workers, um, leaving them unemployed and the economy completely crashing. And I thought that this was an interesting concept um, because I wanted to see how money really is a source of, of, of problems for everyone. Um, if not the main source of problems. Um, my focus for the paper dialed in specifically on one character, Cynthia, and how her life was impacted by the recession. As I delved deeper into the essay, I realized that her friends and family um, were falling apart because of something so simple as a piece of paper that we use as currency. Um, I was eager to see how something as simple as that can be such a revelation in people's lives. Uh, my thesis uh, is the place sweat acts as a strong depiction of the progressive deindustrialization of the Rust Belt during the recession in the 2000s through the disintegration of Cynthia's relationships due to competitive nature, social class influence, and the pre-existing lack of opportunity. Um, and a piece of evidence that I chose to support this um, was reflected during Cynthia and her relationship with Brucey, her husband, and how it fell apart once he lost his job. Um, she said to her friends, once he started messing with that dope, I don't recognize the man. I know it's tough out there. I understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I went through hell when his plant locked him out. I understand, but I can't have it. That was on um, line 17, or page 17. Um, this is an important piece of evidence because this is a primary example of how Cynthia's relationships are, are disintegrating. Um, we see here that Cynthia and her husband had to split up because of his life. His life was falling apart once he lost his job. He started to rely on drugs and his mental state was deteriorating um, and his wife couldn't handle it anymore because she was being put in danger by it. And this was just one example um, as the competitive nature between all the, the friends and the family was growing so, there was, there was gr so much growing tension and jobs were, were really scarce at the time and, and it was really influencing people's, people's minds and they didn't really know what to do about it. And for Brucey, he started to go crazy and it, it destroyed the relationship between Cynthia and, and Brucey. Um, and one of the challenges that I had while writing my essay is at the beginning, I noticed when I was getting feedback that um, there was some struggle in my introductory and con like contextual paragraphs talking about what the Rust Belt is and um, what deindustrialization is and how that relates to um, what I wanted to talk about. And it seems like that I'm not providing enough information in my context or it's unclear for people to understand. And I wanted to know a good way to have it be full of information for people to understand yet still comprehensive and people can still understand without it being too long and un unnecessary but like is it okay for the introduction to be long how I'm not totally sure how I should structure it and what's the best way to go about making sure it flows with the rest of the essay without being unnecessary or forceful thank you